हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम एंड इन दिस सेशन आई विल डिस्कस मेनी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट नाउ कम्स फिजिकल कॉन्सोलिडेशन वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फिजिकल कॉन्सोलिडेशन सो हियर द वर्ड कॉन्सोलिडेशन कॉन्सोलिडेशन मीन्स बेसिकली कॉन्सोलिडेटिंग द फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट दैट मीन्स कंट्रोलिंग द फिजिकल डेफिसिट ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट सो वेन द कंडीशन ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट फाइनेंस इज पुअर एंड फिजिकल डेफिसिट इज राइजिंग फिजिकल डेफिसिट इज राइजिंग इट हैज टू बी कंट्रोल वाई इट हैज टू बी कंट्रोल आई होप यू रिमेंबर आई डिस्कस वेन आई डिस्कस द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फिजिकल डेफिसिट दैट देर आर थ्री मेजर ड्रॉबैक्स ऑफ द फिजिकल डेफिसिट वट आर दोज can you think of so take 10 seconds and just contemplate think what are the three drawbacks of the fiscal deficit then we will discuss this so three drawbacks of the fiscal deficit are number 1 it is it is uh, inflationary in nature why because fiscal deficit means the government will spend more money into the market money supply will increase in the market that will increase the purchasing power of the people that will increase demand of the goods and services but supply cannot increase suddenly so demand is increasing but supply remains constant or it does not increase in the corresponding ratio in this case the price are bound to rise therefore we say fiscal deficit is inflationary in nature and inflation if it goes beyond a level if it goes beyond 6% then it is very very bad because it impacts the poor people in a very adverse manner so this is the first reason why fiscal deficit is not considered to be good second it puts a burden on the future generation because fiscal deficit means we have to take the loan if we are taking the loan today in the future it has to be repaid by the future generation and mostly it has to be repaid in the form of increased tax rate so our children our future generation has to pay more amount of taxes so it puts a burden on the future generation for the spending which has been made by the present generation so it also creates intergenerational conflict number 3 this crowds out private investment why because market has a particular amount of finance available if government takes the loan from the market the amount available for the private sector is reduced so private sector gets the less amount of money for investment and the rate of interest also increases so the private investment reduces what is the adverse impact of that the adverse impact of reduction in the private investment is that the overall capacity of the production capacity of the country decreases so that decreases the gdp of the country that means the economic growth rate declines so first adverse impact was it was inflationary second uh, it creates obligation on the future generation and third it crowds out the private investment because fiscal deficit is not good because of these three reasons the so government always tries to reduce the fiscal deficit in the long term so in the long term this fiscal deficit can be controlled especially through reducing the revenue deficit right so revenue deficit is part of the fiscal deficit right so fiscal deficit is the total deficit overall deficit and revenue deficit is basically part of the fiscal deficit what is revenue deficit revenue deficit means when the revenue receipts are less than the revenue expenditure or when uh, revenue receipts are not able to meet the revenue expenditure so we want to reduce the revenue deficit if we want to do the uh, fiscal consolidation to reduce the revenue deficit there are two ways way outs either we will increase the revenue receipts or we will decrease the revenue expenditure what is the meaning of revenue receipt revenue receipt means the receipt which does not 
uh, impact the asset and liabilities of the government the receipt which do not re reduce the liability sorry the receipt which do not increase the liability and the receipt which do not decrease the assets so that is revenue receipt so it can be of two types either it can be tax revenue or non tax revenue tax revenue can be increased by increasing the tax rate but it has limitations india is already highly taxed country the rates of personal income tax gst etc are already high therefore this has really big limitation non tax revenue like interest income and user charges those can also not be increased suddenly so increasing revenue receipts has its own limitations although from time to time government uh, keeps looking for different ways out to increase the revenue receipt for example uh, levying sas on the high personal in, uh, personal income people the second option available is reduction in the revenue expenditure reduction in the revenue expenditure is possible because our expenditure efficiency can be enhanced the government has really been working in this direction by introducing the concept of jandhan jan jandhan account aadhar and mobile yojana this jam this jam scheme can actually make this is actually making a real difference because through this the direct benefit transfer is done the amount is directly transferred to the account of beneficiary so all the middlemen expect uh, middlemen uh, commission that is not required to be paid right so this is how we can control the revenue deficit so fiscal deficit fiscal consolidation are these kind of strategies and then there can be many more such ways out to increase the revenue receipt and decrease the revenue expenditure in the long term right so this is a long term strategy in the short term government can also go for the increase in the capital receipt or reduction in the capital expenditure so government can go for the disinvestment and in the recent couple of years the government is going for the uh, disinvestment so one thing i want to tell you we cannot say that fiscal fiscal consolidation happens only through revenue uh, revenue transactions it can also happen through the capital transactions right the main thing is that fiscal deficit is try to be controlled in the long term this is fiscal uh, consolidation